Thomas, welcome yeah. back to London. Thank you. And this is the home of the current Premier League leaders, yeah. Arsenal, against your team, Bayern Munich, in the Champions League quarterfinals. But this is what it's all about, right? This is what it's all about. One of the best pitches in, in Europe, uh, that's for sure. And uh, always a pleasure to be back in London. And uh, it's, it's the last eight, it's quarterfinals. We play against the, the leaders of the Premier League most difficult league in the world and um, and the numbers in Champions League are impressive as well. So they are the benchmark in, in many, many parts of the game and we know what we're facing and uh, we need to step up and, and show our best face. You've alluded to the fact that the Champions League is now Bayern Munich's only real hope of any success yep. this season. But can that be a good thing that you have just the one focus now? I don't know. I don't like it. I like to be to have the focus on on as many uh, trophies as possible. But that's um, that's the way it is. I think it helps if we face reality. Reality is that we lacked uh, consistency in Bundesliga. We lacked hunger. We lacked intensity throughout the matches in matches. That it's just the way it is, and we have to face it, and we have to face criticism for it, which is uh, fair enough. But tomorrow is a different competition. Um, we are in quarterfinals. This is what we expect from us. This is what I expect from myself. But now we are here. From now, it's only about showing top level and show, showing showing the best version of yourself and, and showing character and uh, and 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 grit. And um, um, even if, of course, if you play in London, if you play at Arsenal, then then. Then you know you you reach the highest level, and this is uh, what we expect from our team. It's not easy because we lack this uh, freedom freedom of mind when you have consistent uh, wins that we don't have. But maybe we play with a certain uh, anger, a certain range that is also sometimes uh, helpful to reach a top level. But uh, I expect a, a different phase from us than in Bundesliga. We showed this in, in Premier League, in, in Champions League so far, and we need it tomorrow. Why has it been different? Uh, we show more determination, more focus, more 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 concentration in in, in Champions League this season. Because and the games feel like one-offs. I don't know exactly why is that. We we talk a lot about it. We analyze it a lot. We have not found this one reason. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would have stopped it. But it's only fair that we are criticized for it because it's not the level that we expected from ourselves in Bayern Munich to be leader of the of the table. We are far behind Leverkusen now. We're in second place. We're out in cup. This is not satisfying for us. And um, and still, the competition we are here for, the competition in, in Champions League, it is about moments. It's about 90 minutes tomorrow. And we are able to produce top performances in this um, in this competition. And we have to tomorrow. And as well as that, you've been spending time with Harry Kane. It's his yeah. first trip back to the Emirates, back to North London mm -hmm. since he left Tottenham. How desperate is he to score? I think he is desperate to score and he's happy to score. <laughs> um, we are very happy that he's in our team <laughs> against the Gunners. This uh, can be our lucky charm because he scored a lot against them and he is, of course, very ambitious to score against them. And of course, Harry will always help your team to win and uh, this is what he will try tomorrow and hopefully he will succeed. For Bayern Munich, a club that have been so successful before and obviously six-time European champions, yeah. the last time they won it was in 2020 and they've yeah. gone out in the quarterfinals at every stage since. Does that just go to show how difficult this competition is to win? Yes, I mean, sometimes uh, sometimes I use the example of, of Juventus, uh, like like how long they're waiting for, for being in a final, for winning a final. Mm. And, and, and you hear the number, it's, it's simply incredible because Juventus is such a huge brand in world football. And, and of course, here as well at Arsenal and, and even for us. So the time seems long, but it's not that long. But even to make it um, to semi-final and to final is a huge achievement. We forget about it as soon as we have a winner. All the glory goes to the winner, all the fame goes to the winner. Fair enough, all the praise goes to the winner. But it just reminds you how difficult it is to reach semi-finals, to reach the last four. This is why we're here. And then maybe, hopefully we can do that. And hopefully we can do the next step. But yeah, it just tells you the story. It humbles you, makes you be fully aware how difficult it is. But it's also very exciting. Well, on the other side of that, you know that praise, you know yes. that feeling, you've won it. And it's addictive. <laughs> it's addictive, of course. You want to have more and again and again. It's like the, the feeling the next day, latest two days after it, it's I want to have this again. And that's why we're all addicted and we're all in love with this sport.